New at four, Atlanta City Council members address what they call a chronic safety and health hazard, raw sewage spilling into our waterways. I've been reporting on these problems for months now. Went to a PAC committee meeting today to learn about some long-term solutions. Um, this is chronic and it has to be addressed. It affects lots of people. Phone calls pour into District 8 City Councilwoman Yolanda Adrian's office the moment raw sewage pours into Memorial Park in Northwest Atlanta. For some reason, it has not arisen to the top of somebody's list. Somebody's list is about to change after neighbor after neighbor shared their personal stories of raw sewage flowing into Atlanta's parks from Peachtree Creek. We're not a third world country. You know, we're Atlanta, Georgia. We're having unintended stormwater that's making its way into the line. The overflow is stored in the tank until after the rain event. The Department of Watershed Management made this video about their current system in place and the Liddell tank completed in 2014. With all this discussion about the Lydell tank, we came here to check it out. It's a 10 million gallon tank right off of Cheshire Bridge Road, and the city of Atlanta says that it likely prevented several spills into Memorial Park. It's operating as it was designed to. But several council members and residents say the spills continue, so watershed management also revealed their plans to raise manholes by several feet. What I'm concerned with is that we're going to spend a lot of taxpayer money to raise manhole covers and that we're not going to get very much relief. Um, the city may relocate the playground in Memorial Park to higher ground. Councilmember Mary Norwood is now introducing legislation asking the mayor's office to address the sewage spills in the park and have a report within the next three months.